I'm still recording. <laughs> Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be doing 21 frequently asked questions about diamond painting. Hi guys, my name is Evelyn and I'll be your host for today. Uh, I posted a TikTok video kind of asking people to uh, comment, you know, some questions. And so you'll see those pop up somewhere on the screen. Also, my husband got me a new ring light. Um, as you can obviously see i hope it's not too distracting um maybe if i like you'll get this side a lot or this side maybe i just won't look at you dead in the eye so over here i have my handy dandy piece of paper with all the questions uh, that i got on the video some questions weren't commented on that specific video they were just you know questions that i get throughout my other videos and i'll answer those as well because i thought you know why not? While I answer the questions, I'll be diamond painting. Perfect. <laughs> While I do this first color, I'll answer the first question, which is, what is diamond painting? Usually I explain it as paint by number, but with little beads. Um, Diamonds. Next question is what do the symbols mean? So kind of along the lines of what is diamond painting, what are the symbols? So whenever you get a kit, you'll see that the canvas has a whole bunch of different letters, numbers, symbols printed on the canvas. And then you'll also get your diamonds. And these diamonds are usually in numbered bags. Then on the painting or sometimes on another sheet of paper, you'll have a legend. And on that legend, you'll find the numbers uh, that the colors have been assigned. And then you'll also find the corresponding symbol that you'll see on the painting. Uh, so pretty much whenever you see a certain symbol, you can look over to the legend and see what color it's supposed to be based off of the number they were packaged as. I hope I explained that correctly. I'm not the best. Not explaining things. So the third question is, what do you use so that the diamonds can stick on to the pen? So let me show you what my pen looks like. So this is my pen, super pretty. I got it from Diamond Art Club, um, in case you're wondering. So pretty much whenever you order a diamond painting kit, uh, you'll get some basic tools. That'll usually include a pen, the tray, your diamonds, your canvas, and some wax. You'll get pink wax like this. Obviously, I've used this one. Um, it's usually a whole piece of wax. You get your pen and you stick it into the wax so that the wax then transfers onto the tip, either your single placer or your multi-placer and then that is how you can pick up your pens from your tray. I personally have found that I prefer using a sticky tack or blue tack instead of pink wax um, because I just find it lasts a lot longer and it doesn't leave behind any residue on the diamonds and so that's why you'll see that on my pen the top is blue because I have blue tack over here and on this side it's white. I just have like normal sticky tack on this side. So the fourth question is, is the canvas sticky? And if so, does it bring like a protective sheet or something uh, to prevent dust or other stuff from sticking onto it? And the answer is yes to both questions. The canvas is sticky, uh, as you can maybe hear. It's very sticky. That's literally how the diamonds stick onto it. So you grab a diamond and then you stick it onto your canvas. Every painting will bring a protective sheet to cover the glue. This one, for example, you can't see it, but it's a clear transparent sheet. If you can see. Uh, sometimes they'll bring this type of sheet. Sometimes they'll bring a solid white protective sheet, but it all works the same. The fifth question that I've included is probably one of the most asked questions um, and it's what do you do if you make a mistake? As in 
you know, if you put the wrong diamond on the wrong uh, space. So all you have to do is grab tweezers um, or even with your diamond painting pen and you can just grab the diamond and flick it right off. You can also do this with your diamond painting pen, preferably um, without wax in the tip, uh, just because sometimes the wax will get stuck to the glue. You can just grab your pen and with the tip of your diamond painting pen, you can just flick it off. Just like that. And it should come off nice and easy. The sixth question is, how long does it take to complete a diamond painting. I would say it really depends on the size of the painting and the design. I've worked on a really small painting that I finished in maybe three hours, but my most recent diamond painting, which was one of the biggest that I've done, that one took me a month. And that's because of the design. It was a very complicated design. There was a lot of confetti, um, which if you don't know, that pretty much means a lot of different colors in one small section. Diamond paintings that have big blocks of the same color will usually be faster to complete. But yeah, it really just depends on the size of the painting and the design. Well, the seventh question is, what is my favorite place to buy diamond paintings from? I can't say I've bought diamond paintings from too many places. I've bought them from Amazon, AliExpress, Diamond Art Club, Paint Gem, Dreamer Design, Home Craftology, I think. I wanna say that's it. <laughs> so I haven't bought from too many places. I recently just placed an order from Shegan, um, so expect a video on that soon. Uh, but out of all those places, I definitely have to say that I absolutely love the paintings from Diamond Art Club. <laughs> They're just such great quality. On top of that, they work with artists and they get paid for their artwork. But on the downside, Diamond Art Club is just a little, it's a little bit expensive. But again, you're getting that quality material and the canvas and the drill. Artists get paid. But yeah, definitely Diamond Art Club takes, takes the gold medal for me. A close second would probably be uh, Dreamer Designs. And speaking of which, that brings us to question number eight. What are my thoughts on... Um, on Dreamer Designs. In one of my recent videos, I did an unboxing from Dreamer Designs. Really great quality, really beautiful designs. But the sizes that I order from Dreamer Designs, they probably could have been a little bit more expensive because they're huge. They're huge paintings. Uh, but they were only $60 and they're just really beautiful. So 10 out of 10, definitely recommend Dreamer Designs and Diamond Art Club if you're looking for um, good quality diamond painting kits. So another question that I've gotten, which would be question number nine, is when did I start diamond painting? I started back in late April, early May, just when uh, quarantine was starting to get really strict. March, pretty much, that's when the world kind of shut down and we were all stuck at home and so I needed a hobby um, and I had placed an order a little bit before we were told to stay home so fortunately I received my kit like right in the beginning of quarantine yeah I worked on it and I fell in love so another question that I get asked a lot um, which would be question number 10 uh, is how much do diamond painting kits cost it really depends on where you buy them from and on the size I know that Amazon sells really affordable diamond painting kits. One painting might cost as little as maybe $10. This painting is actually from Diamond Art Dot on Amazon. They have these four pack diamond painting kits 
you get four paintings, you get all the drills, a big blue tray, a pen, wax, small green tray, and all of that is $20, which is not bad at all. Uh, some of the big diamond painting websites that are a little pricier, usually those range around maybe $40 to $60. The bigger the painting, the pricier it is. And I've seen some paintings go as much as $80 to $100. Again, it really just depends on where you buy them from and how big. Uh, question number 11 asks if I save my extra drills uh, by DMC number. I, I can't say that I do. I just haven't really found that I need to, honestly. Which brings me to question number 13. What do I do uh, with all my extra drills? And y'all are gonna hate me for this, but please don't be triggered. <laughs> but I literally have them all in this jar. I'm not even gonna lie, I got this at a thrift store, but honestly, I think it's just a candle holder. But yeah, this is pretty much what I do with my extra drills. I put them all in this jar, and then I keep this jar on my kitchen table as decor. Question number 13 asks if uh, the paintings usually bring extra drills or extra diamonds, um, which I guess I should have included this question before the last two but anyways yes they do i literally have a whole jar full of the extra diamonds that kids will send you question number 14 asks where do i get all of my tools uh, i actually have a whole video uh, kind of walking through all of my tools and where I got them from and I even included links in the description so definitely go check that out I'll include it somewhere here um, in the cards but pretty much just to give a short summary most of my tools are either the ones that come with the kits Amazon or they're from AliExpress so another question that I got is what brand are my storage containers? I actually have two sets of storage containers. I ordered these from Amazon. Um, literally, if you just put in the search bar, Tic Tac containers, you'll find a storage system kind of like this. Uh, this one is actually from Harbor Frey. Um, it's like a, like a tool store. Also, no problema. <laughs> it's a clear storage container and in them has 24 individual little containers. Question number 16 asks, what is a good sized diamond painting? If it's a really detailed picture with a lot going on, I would recommend getting a bigger sized painting, probably around a 40 by 55, 40 by 50 or larger, um, I believe would be a good sized. My rule of thumb, if it's a detailed picture, you wanna go bigger. If it's pretty simple, go smaller. Another question that I've been getting recently is if you can do custom designs, like could you do a painting of an image of your choosing? And the answer is yes you can, you sure can. I haven't done one yet, but I'm definitely planning on it. Uh, I just, haven't figured out from what seller I want to order from. So you can usually order custom paintings from uh, the big diamond painting websites, or you can order them from sellers on AliExpress. I've even seen sellers on Amazon offer to do uh, custom paintings. Question number 18 asks if I watch TV while I diamond paint. Uh, yeah, usually I put on a show or a YouTube video um, and I'm just listening to that kind of in the background. I really liked watching The Office um, and Parks and Rec. Sometimes I'll re-watch movies that I've already seen. Another really common question that I get is how do I work on these paintings for hours on end without having my back or my neck hurt. Biggest tip that I can give to prevent uh, back pain or neck pain is to really focus on your posture. You know, really keeping in mind that, you know, you wanna keep your back straight while doing this. I like to work on this table because it's a little higher. Um, 
than like a normal table. I've noticed that when I work on lower tables or with smaller chairs, I tend to crouch a lot more and then my neck is uncomfortable or my back starts aching. Uh, so definitely if you can find um, a table that's a little higher um, or even maybe lowering your chair so that the table is a little higher then that might do the trick and the next big tip is to take breaks um, especially if you feel like that burning pain <laughs> in your neck it, it's time to take a break like don't push yourself too much um, or else you might burn out a lot quicker. Question number 20 asks, what do I do with my paintings once I'm done with them? As of right now, I'm just storing them in one of my spare rooms. One of my, I only have one spare room. <laughs> I like to give my paintings out as gifts to people that I know will appreciate the design. And last, but certainly not least, question number 21 asks, um, if there is any way to make a living off of diamond painting. I don't know but if anyone knows and if anyone has any suggestions uh, to make that a thing let me know because if I can do diamond painting for a living and you know pay my bills I'm into it well guys that's all 21 questions this was <laughs> really fun to do let me know how you felt about this video if I should do more videos kind of like this. If you have any questions that you'd like me to answer, comment them down below and maybe I'll make a frequently asked questions about diamond paintings part two um, in the near future if I get enough questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm sorry about the ring light. I'll try to figure this out, I, I promise because I bet this was a little bit annoying, not gonna lie. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, bye.